Good morning children. Welcome back to the phonics lessons. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend and a little bit of a break even though we've all had to stay in lots. I hope you've enjoyed doing a little bit of different learning and you've got to do lots of the lovely activities that Sarah set for you um, as well as I um, and you enjoyed listening to the stories and today we're going to be going back to our phonics lesson. So this lesson is for year one children. So if you are a year one child and you are in forest class or you are a year one child in Matthew class, welcome. This class is for you. You will need to make sure you can see me clearly, you can hear me clearly. You have your whiteboard, your pen and your rubber and you have your phonics hat on. So make sure you put your phonics hat on and you are ready for some learning. So Today in phonics we're going to learn a new sound and we're going to revise our other sounds. We will also be giving you some words which we will learn, I want you to learn and practice throughout the week and on Friday we're going to do a little spelling test for those words. So today's sound is this sound. Now this sound is I. I. Now I know that we've learned lots of sounds that have the I sound but they look a little bit different to this. Can you write on your whiteboard quickly another sound that makes the I sound? Off you go. Well done. That You wrote that sound. That is the, another sound that makes the I sound. Make sure you pause this video when you to give you time to have a go at doing the things that I ask you to do. Okay, so when I go like that, that means you pause the video and you have a go. Yes, so this sound also makes the I sound. They look very different, don't they? This is I with an I and an E, and this is I as in fly high. There's another sound that makes the I sound. Pause the video and have a go at writing some another way of, of writing the I sound. And yes, this is also a way of writing the I sound. Remember this card, nice smile. All of these sounds make the same sound, which is I, I, I. And today we're gonna to be learning this one. Now I drew a card, I drew something for this, which had it, so I drew a pie, pie here. So we write pie with a P and an I, this I sound here. Pie, can you say pie? Pie, P I. Pi, have a go. P I, pi. Very good. Some of the other words that have this I sound in them are tie, a tie that you wear. Tie, t I, tie. Very good. Another one is lie, never tell a lie. U I, lie. Very good, well done. Another word that has this I sound in it is cries, cries. She cries when she says goodbye to her mum. Cries, k -r -i -s. cries, have a go. k -r -i -s. cries, very good. Another word that has this I sound is spied, spied. I spied my daughter taking another biscuit from the biscuit tin. Spied, sp eyed, spied. Well done. All of those words have this I sound in them. And we're going to have a go at writing these words and then reading them back. Remembering today's sound is I. Okay, so make sure you have your pen and your whiteboard and I'd like you to have a go at writing the word pie. P I pie pie. Okay, remembering that is the sound you're using for pie. Give you if you need to pause the video at any time to give yourself time to write it, you can do that, okay? So it should look like that with the I sound. Two letters making one sound. I pie. I like chicken pie. Okay, another one. Tie. Have a go at writing tie. Tie. A tie is something you wear around your neck. Okay. 
doing a little tie for you so you can see. Tie. When you're writing your words, can you make sure you do a dot for the first sound if it's a single letter sound and a line under the light, the sound that we're learning? Okay, well done. The next sound I'd like you to write is cries. Cries. K -r -i -s. Cries. Cries. K -r -i -s. Cries. Very good. And one more word I'd like you to try is lie. Never tell a lie. Lie. This is the sort of lie as in when you don't tell the truth, not as in lie down. Lie should look like that. And then the next word I'd like you to write is spied. 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 I spied someone sneaking around in my house. Spied. Very good. Now, you should have all of these words written here. Now, you can practice reading these words now to a grown-up or out loud to yourself. I want you to pause the video and either use the words that you have written on this whiteboard or in the your packs. Um, you should have one of the packs like this. You could also practice reading these I sounds. Now in your pack, I don't think it has the sheet that has this I sound in it because there's some new sounds that aren't in the Read Write Ink pack. But what I would like you to do is to still find the page that has these two I sounds. So I as in fly high, and I as in nice smile, just so you can make the link that this and remind you of another way that we say I. So you could practice reading these sounds out. Remember to be reading it like smile, smile with the sounds and then have a go at reading the ones that you've written on your whiteboard. And then when you finish that, I would like you to write a sentence for me on the other side of your whiteboard using one of these words, okay? So you could have one like, I will cook chicken pie for my tea. My dad wears a spotty tie. My sister cries if I don't share my toys with her. I will never tell a lie. Okay, so you can think of some one if you want to write two sentences and then write that word using the I sound and underline it. Pause the video to have a go at doing the things I've asked you to do. Okay, welcome back children. So, as I said at the beginning of the lesson, or the beginning of the video, we are going to do a little spelling test on a Friday. So you need to make sure you can either write these words now onto your whiteboard, or you could write them straight into an exercise book. So we gave you some different books. You can either write them into your... Um, I'm not sure what colour they are. I know that we gave we gave books out that the ones that we had. But if you could try and find a book that's got lines on it, and that can be um, your way of keeping the weekly spellings. So I'm going to tell you what the first spelling is for today. I'm taking these words off the, the, a sheet that you will have that looks a bit like this, which will say the common exception words for year one. So they're words that you should be able to spell by the end of year one. So it should look a little bit like that sheet. Okay. If you can find that in your pack. But don't worry if you can't. You can just listen to see um, how those words are spelt now. So the first word that I would like you to learn this week is called. She is called Anna. Called. So called is a funny spelling word. We spell it like that. Copy that down, please. C-A-L-L-E-D. Called. Number two. Writing under number two. The word I'd like you to learn is asked. She asked me what my name is. Asked. 
you can copy that one down. So they both have ED at the end. Okay, called, asked. Very good. The third word I'd like you to learn this week is looked. Again, with an ED at the end, looked. So you should know that word because it's uh, uh, look at a book and then looked. In the past tense, I looked out of my window yesterday, looked. The fourth word I'd like you to write is there. Who is living over there? Again, I know I'm going quite quickly, but just keep pausing the video so you've got enough time to copy them down. There. Now this spelling of there is when you're talking about a place. Over there, sit there, I live there. If you're talking about there as in it belongs to someone, like that is their coat, that is their mum, that is their house, then you spell it differently. You spell it with a T and a H again, but instead of an R and E, E at the end, it has an I and an R. So there's two spellings for there, this one for where somewhere is or place, this one for if it's, you're talking about it belonging to someone. There and there. So these are the spellings that I would like you to learn this week. Make sure you have copied them down neatly into your books. Called, asked, looked, there, there. Some ways of learning the spellings. So remember we always do look, cover, write, check. So you, you look at the word, you copy it. Then the next time you, you cover it up and you have a go at writing it. Then you close your eyes and you write it three times and you go back and check. That's one way of learning to write it. Another way is doing the pyramid where you practice writing a word like that. If you're doing called, you go back each time writing, adding an extra letter. So it looks a bit like a pyramid or a triangle. K -a -o -o -a. And then at the end, you should write the whole word at the bottom. And then you can see you've made a triangle around it. That's one way of learning it. Another way of practicing your spellings is you could do each different letter in a different coloured pencil, the pencils we gave you in your pack. You could write, practice writing them that way. So they're sort of different ways of learning to write your spellings. Okay, so I think you've got lots to do there. Before we go, I'm going to quickly put our I sound into our sounds. Now oh, here's our I sound, sorry, that was the I, this I sound into our sounds. And we'll just quickly go through our sounds for the day. Sitting up, back straight. I, air, er, a, o, er, or, oo, ear, E, oops, that fell off that one. A, your, E, E, O, O, Oi, A, U, A, U, A, Oi, U, A, O, E. I, I, I. Nice pie. Okay, well done children. So you've got lots of learning to do today. I'll see you tomorrow for our second lesson. Bye you one children.